Hey guys, I wanted to show you how, uh, since it sounds like both of you are new to Zotero, how we can use these group libraries. So you should have gotten an email um, about membership, and this is, this is our particular library. I have many, you'll just have one. Now you can access this through the web or through uh, a standalone app. I, I find um, the entering stuff a bit easier with a standalone app, but you can do either. Um, you should have all the permissions to do this. Now, if we look at one of my um, larger libraries, there's like all kinds of stuff here. And when I click on it, there's all kinds of details here. And usually I have um, the PDFs in here, so you can actually find all the PDFs and read them all in one spot. Um, and that's probably the best thing uh, for us to do. I've started adding a few things in here. So I first want to show you how to, if we have a, a reference and you have the, um, uh, the, the reference citation exported. Um, the easiest is in RAS format, but I can just come up here and say that I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna do uh, import is what I'm gonna do. So I, I've, I've selected my library and I come up here and do import. And I'm gonna pick the file. And I'm gonna navigate to where I have it. Now in this case, this is my RAS file. This file here is the citation for this paper. So first I'm gonna import that citation, unclick that, say okay. And now you'll notice that it, it showed up here. So now, now it's got all the stuff populated, I don't need to type anything in. Um, it's got the abstract and everything. And then if I right click on this, I can add attachment and I can go to that, that PDF, this bad boy, and say, uh, hey, add it. Now I have that, that abstract so any of us can read anybody else's um, literature they found. So that's one way if we have peer-reviewed stuff. A lot of our studies, I suspect, since this is so new, aren't necessarily going to be peer-reviewed, aren't necessarily going to be from a journal article. So they might be a news article or a blog post or something like that. Um, and again, some of this can be automated. I'm just showing you the manual way that, that works every single time if some of the automation tricks don't work. So um, one thing we might want to add here, so I have, I have Lorna's um, uh, blog post up here. And so let's say this is something we want to reference. Um, so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to, in this case, manually type in my information. There's a way to do this automatically, but again, I want to show you what works every single time. So now I'm in my library, I push this green button, and again, I'm in the standalone app here. And I hit this and I say, hey, I want to do a blog post. If that doesn't work and you come down to more, there's all these other types of things, newspaper article, all kinds of stuff. These are just the most recent ones I've been using. Okay, so we've said, hey, make me a new one. And then as I come over here, it has all the stuff we can fill in. So I'm gonna come up here, the title is this. Let me just make this a little bit smaller so it's a little bit easier for us to see this. Okay, so I'm gonna come up here, the title. I'm gonna put the title in, uh, the author, First name Lorna, last name G O N Z A L E Z. Click off, that's now there. Um, and then uh, the date is August 14th, 2024. Um, and the website is this is uh, TLI Innovations, I believe is what we call the blog. We can always edit this later. And so the blog title is TLI Innovations. Um, I can put the URL, I can grab this bad boy, and I can put the URL there, and I can say last accessed it August 14th, 2024. Um, and we can, we, you can add another stuff, but that, that's the key stuff. The author, the year, the, the journal, or the, or the um, uh, literature source, uh, et cetera. So I say, okay, cool. So now we have that as a thing. Now, um, just in case, I mean, it's not going to happen with this, but maybe with some of our other blogs, we maybe have limited access or something like that in nature. Maybe it's a membership thing. Can always do this. Can always do um, export as a PDF. Save it somewhere. And now if I come over here and I wanted to have that as a long-term archive, I can come and just like before, I can say add attachment go over to here, add that as a PDF, and now I have it as a, I can either click on the link and go read it, or I can, I can uh, you know, click right here and see the whole thing. In addition, we can add tags if you want to add specific tags about as our research progresses, if you want to add notes about that reference, whatever. So that's how to add, um, how to 
uh, manually add references into our shared Zotero group library.